everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lokis how you doing welcome back to another lesson which will be on how to make this beautiful dress we have here so looking at it it is just a lovely dress caught somewhere around the bust here to the shoulder with a cow sleeve and trust me it's gonna come out nice so you can make use of any type of material especially the middle you can make use of any type of material it could be cotton stretchy fabric satin sheet no lace yes so our even african print fabric is going to come out nice because it's just a straight dress but the sleeve i would advise you to make use of either satin stretchy fabric chiffon because these materials will aid the cow formation and make it so beautiful but for the inner one you can make use of cotton or any type of fab fabric but for the cow sleeve please chiffon stretchy fabric satin will be so nice it's gonna aid it for instance now i have some fabric here like this i can just mix it with this this would be for the main dress why this would be for the cow sleeve so you can just mix different type of fabrics together you can make use of lace or make use of even a stretchy fabric too so just giving you some tip if today is your first time of checking out this channel you're welcome and please make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram looking signatures and on facebook so in innovations now let's get started quickly let us just cut out this main dress before the cow sleeve and the technique in which you will use to go about it so all you have to do now is to fold your fabric into four because we are cutting both the front and the back together except if you want a zipper at the back then you can cut just the front first and then use it to cut the back adding zipper allowance to eat but even you can cut both front and back together like this and still have a zipper that will be a tutorial for another day whether you have the same measurement of fabric and you still have a zipper in it so having folded it the next thing you are going to do is to measure the length of the dress you will be making like for this very one i'm making about 55 or so so you had your same allowance of one and a half inches to the length the next measurement you will need is half of your handhold half of the handhold of this medium size is seven and a half but because i'm going to be sewing it at the shoulder because of the shoulder seam allowance i'm making it eight then going to the uh, the waist measurement the vertical waist measurement is 16 inches and then the hip is 24 then you make your straight line there although all these lines aren't really necessary but we need them for proper shipping so the next thing i'm going to do now is this how do you know how to fold your fabric you are going to use the hip measurement to do that because that is the largest circumference here so and the hip i'm working with is 40 inches so when i divide that by two sorry by four i'm going to have 10 inches if you are using a cotton fabric, you could just add some ease half to one and half to that. If you are using a stretchy fabric, you don't have to add extra, just your seam allowance. So now, I will be adding, this is a cotton material. So what I will do is this, since I have 10 for the hip measurement, I'm going to add ease of three quarter to one into that. Then don't forget your size seam allowance, which will be some total to 11 and three quarter see that that's for the e now for the waist here the waist i'm working with is 30 inches although it is not necessary here but let us just put that because of when we are shaping the hip area that is why i just have to put that so the hip measurement e sorry the waist measurement is 30 divided by four that will give me seven and a half so seven and a half with extra one inch of ease or half an inch that will make it eight inches then plus seam allowance of one inch that will make it nine so you could have up to one inch ease to it if you want it to be free that still depends on your preference so since we are done with that so let's just leave this another measurement you will just insert on the half of the handhold area is your bust fan measurement your bust fan measurement will help you to adjust to make this curve perfectly so bust fan means the distance from one equal to the other so for this person it is uh, eight inches like for me it is nine inches so for this person it is eight inches so when i divide by two i'm going to have four so just add extra one into that 
One, why? One for ease, then half an inch to sew it to the cow sleeve. So four inches plus one will give me five. So that's this, we are going to go. So now the next thing we are going to do is the shoulder measurement. First, the three inches, eight inches standard. Three inches, then eight inches to determine the slope. So can you see? So from here, I'm going to come down by one inch. Connect from the one inch to the three inches. Now I can insert the shoulder measurement. Shoulder measurement for this person is 15 inches. So when I divide that by two, it's going to give me seven and a half. So I will insert the seven and a half here. So for instance, if yours is eight and a half, that's going to be after the shoulder slope. So now this is the shoulder area. So now what do we do? Let us just quickly talk about the neck line before we move to the other part. So for the neckline, I'll just make it four and a half to be wide enough. Except you want something smaller than that, four and a half. Then for the depth, I'll make it three. The neckline, so I'm using the same for both the front and the back. But if you want something else for the back, you can just make it one and a half inches and cut that. But I'm making use of the same neckline. Good. So the next thing we need to do now is this first, I have to call the waist to the hip. Then for this cow sleeve, it's just going to stop about two and a half to three inches from your hip line. This is the hip line. So the cow formation is just going to stop about two and a half to three inches above the hip line, which is here. So now we can make the curve. So with my hip curve, just play with it from the shoulder. This is the shoulder of the seven and a half. Because you want it to, the sleeve to start exactly from the shoulder. So this is the shoulder, you make a curve from there. Can you see? So this is the slope, we don't need this. So from here now, we are going to make this curve to stop here. So just take your time to play around with it. see what we have so we have the curve now from the shoulder to the bust pan plus one inch straight to above the eighth measurement so the initial curve was to get these parts so we are done with that the next thing is to move to the lower part of the dress remember this is the hip line this is where we stop for the curve so at the end of the hem now all you have to do is this just take the measurement of what you have here. If you are someone that's not so hippy, you can just use the same measurement of what you have here, straight down. Yes, but if you are someone that has a lot of hip, just deduct between one inch to one and a half from the measurement you have here. Here I have 11 and three quarter. So if I deduct one, I'll be having 10 and three quarter. So I can just deduct, let me make it ten and a half to be a little bit tapered. So I'm going to connect from the heel straight down. That's what 
this is going to look like. So this is what I have. I'm still going to trim up this uh, slow, but let me just leave that. It's going to guide us when we are cutting the cow sleeve. So here now, this is what it looks like. We've not cut the neckline. So we have both for the front and the back. So now let's cut the cow sleeve. Get another fabric here. I will be using an African print for illustration. And as I've told you, you shouldn't use that for your cow sleeve. But I'm just going to, because I need a contrasting fabric to be able to be visible. So now there's another measurement you need to make from your center back, the bone at your back here. Just take the measurement from here to wherever you want your sleeve opening to be. So for this person, I want it to be 20 inches. Note that from your backbone to your sleeve opening. So 20 inches for this person. So what am I going to do next? I'm supposed to be folding on uh, four fabric. That is two for one side, two for the other side because we are going to be joining it at the shoulder region. So that's two, two. But let me just fold for one. So after cutting one, we can use it for the order so now i've just folded enough fabric that will be enough for the sleeve the next thing i'm going to do is to place this on it so make sure this side here is here so i can just pin it down can you see that so first let me just so back here. So you go with this. You can remove this. That's the marking, but let's just leave it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I have to extend this shoulder slope. That's very important. So this is the three inches standard. So just follow the slope. You know that I will not have to measure. Remember I told you 20 inches from the center back. So we've inserted seven and a half inches for the shoulder measurement. But I cut exactly on the seven and a half. I did not have half an inch seam allowance to join it to the cow sleeve. So half an inch note that. Then you need also half an inch on this side. That makes it one. So we are going to be adding one to the 20 inches. So that's 21. Then half an inch to join the band. We have here to eat. That's another half an inch, making one um, another half. So that will make it 21 and a half. So to the 20 inches, we are adding a total of one and half inches. So what I will do is this. This is where the shoulder stops. Place your seven and a half inches there. And then mark your... 21 and a half. So that's the 21 and a half. So then you measure the sleeve opening around where you want the sleeve to be. So for this person, it is 10 inches. So we need half an inch to sew those parts, the shoulder area, half an inch to also join this side. That makes it one. So I'll be adding one to half of 10. Half of 10 is five. So one to that, so that makes it a total of six, six. So the next thing now is to cut from that point to the area whereby it's going to join the heat. what the cow is going to look like. Can you see that? So what you have to do is to notch this part, notch this point. So that will be the sleeve opening 
and then we can cut it out. So here now I can cut the neckline. So this was the marking. This is what I have, so let me show you. So I'm going to use this very one, place it on this side and also cut for the other sleeve. This is what the dress looks like. And you can see we have exactly what we have on our stretch. So beautiful. Then for the band, I just have two strip of fabric cut out here and each of it is a length of 52 inches and then in width four inches so by the time i fold each i'm going to have two inches so when half an inch is added to the sleeve opening here i'll be left with one and a half and still have enough fabric to tie my bow so this is what i'm going to have so this is going to be attached i've notched the sleeve opening here so once it is attached to it, here, I still have a lot to tie it up. Can you see? So this is just so beautiful. And as I've said, make sure you use the right material for the cow sleeve. Let me just show you. And then see, if my tutorial has been helpful, please give me a giant thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I remain your girl, Blue Keys. And if you are interested in our online classes and sewing tools, just contact us through the contact number in the description box below. Just want to show you again. Can you see? So beautiful. So this is what it looks like. Bye, bye, bye guys, bye guys, bye guys.